the Big Ben. Amen. So praise God. Bienvenidos a Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo. And we want to welcome all of you that are joining us by audio video. And uh, just wanted to say happy Sunday morning to you. And welcome. And prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. So praise God. We're we've been talking about uh, counting your blessings and not your problems. <laughs> we've been talking about uh, drawing close to Him. Amen. And we need to practice this on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. Drawing near to Him. And uh, anyway, well, I'm not going to go there. But uh, we need to prepare ourselves to get come close to Him. He is always close to us. If uh, if you don't feel, if you don't sense Him, His presence, it's because it's not because He didn't. It's not because He moved. It's uh -huh. because you moved. Amen. And you need to make an adjustment. Amen. Amen. You need to draw close to Him because He never moved. He's always there for you. Amen. We need to draw close to Him. Amen. And that's what we're going to be talking about. Amen. Drawing closer and closer to Him. I want to read this to you. If you don't have this, <laughs> it's a good thing for you to get this. It's called Jesus Calling. Enjoying peace in His presence. And it's just a, a nice thing I want to read to you. Amen. It's a, I, I call them spiritual nuggets. These are spiritual nuggets that we can have all the time. And I love chicken nuggets too, but uh, spiritual nuggets are better. And they give you a spiritual high. Amen. <laughs> spiritual food. We need spiritual food too. Amen. It says, trust me and don't be afraid. For I am your strength and your song. Amen. Think what it means to have me as your strength. We need to know whose we are and who we are. And when we feel this presence, when we feel this strength, you know, just know that you feel stronger. You know, David felt this <laughs> when he went up against Goliath. You need his strength. You need him before you go against your giants. Amen. Right. Woo, come on now. I spoke the universe into existence. This is the kind of power we have behind yes, us. Yes. It's backing us. My power is absolutely unlimited. Human weaknesses con concentrate to me. It is like a magnet drawing my power into your needs we all have needs he said he'll supply all of your needs amen just like a magnet drawing him however fear can block the flow of my strength into you amen there's all kinds of distractions the world the enemy is going to use people and things to get in your way and yeah. block block these things yeah distractions you know and we all have them Amen. So we got to stay focused, draw near to Him, so these things don't get in the way. Right, you know, right. the closer you are to Him, <laughs> nothing can get in between. That's right. Amen. But you got to stay close. Yes. He didn't walk away, you walked away. Yes, that's Amen. Right. And it's time to get close to Him uh -huh. and don't let go. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. I'm thinking about a. Uh, what he calls a roller coaster ride. Oh, you're, you're, you're gonna hang on, okay? Yes. <laughs> Praise God. Uh, instead of trying to fight the fears, concentrate on trusting me. When you relate to me in confident trust, there's no limit to how much I can strengthen you. Amen. There's no limit. It's unlimited. Amen. It, it it's awesome. Um. Um. It's just awesome to serve him. Anyway, amen. There's no limit to him. Praise God. Amen. Remember that I am also your song. I want you to share my joy, living in uh, conscious awareness of my presence. Rejoice as you journey together towards heaven. Join me in singing my song. Amen. You're going to tell people God loves them with a sad face, a sour face, you know. <laughs> that ain't going to wake nobody up yes, yes. but you know you put a smile on their face and, and show your your jesus you know say man why are you so happy yeah. you know you make people mad you take people off <laughs> why are you so happy don't you know about the uh uh the virus is going on don't you know the problems going on you know all the needs going on yeah you know but my god is supplying all of my needs yes and yes. i'm excited he can do the same thing for you mm -hmm. amen so amen. Yeah, i just wanted to share that number with you praise god Praise God. That's good. Before we get any further, <laughs> grab your Bibles, soldier of God, and uh, and let's say it like a minute. Amen. Amen. Right. Here's my Bible. Where's yours? Grab well, yours. You, you know. wanted to try to put it on the screen? <laughs> huh? Sure. Uh, of course. 
Amen. So grab your Bible anyway. This is my sword. This is my Bible. Yes. Amen. Since this is my Bible, I am what I am. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. My mind is alert. Yes. Remember that the battlefield is the mind, yeah. and the enemy is going to use it. If yeah. you just uh, if you just go sit there and do nothing, something is going to pop in your mind. Yeah. Amen. Is it good or is it bad? Yeah. But you decide. Amen. Right. If it's good, if it's bad, get rid of it, delete yeah. it. Yeah. But if it's good, you know, hey, yeah. concentrate. Man, this is God talking yes. to me. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Or oh, this is my body telling me I'm hungry. <laughs> so we're not going to hold you long. <laughs> so no rush. <laughs> Since today I'll be taught the word of God. This is on a daily basis. Amen. Today I'm going to be taught the word of God. Yes. How? I'm going to grab my sword. I'm going to grab yes. my Bible. I'm going to open it. Yes. And I'm going to get in it. Yes. Amen. And I'm going to get what's here and put it in here. Yes. Amen. Amen. So when then I need it, it's going to come out of here uh -huh. <laughs> and these cup it's got to go in but it's got to come out you have to release it there's power in the word yes. it's the power death and life are in the power of the tongue uh -huh. death and life are in the power of the words of god that you uh -huh. speak yes submit yourself to god resist the devil he'll flee Please. you're going to resist you're, you're going to resist him by speaking the word of god and when you speak the word of god those anointed word of god it's going to put him on the run yes. say I and I'm cutting out of here. I don't want to hang out. Okay? So, you know, he's gone. But he says, I boldly confess my mind is alert. So you need to put up. You just gotta tell your mind to be alert, okay? You just gotta put a sign there to say, wait a minute, this is not right. And the Bible says renew your mind with the word of God. So the enemy is going to try to use your mind uh, to put negative things in there. Yeah. Amen. And if it gets in your mind, eventually he's hoping that you're going to speak it. Uh -huh. If it's negative, yeah. it's bad, you know, you're going to speak it. No. Clear it. Renew it with the word of God. Yes. Amen. And don't give it a chance. Just let it go. It says my spirit is receptive. We're talking about your spirit. We're talking about your heart. When he talks about heart, he's talking about your spirit. My spirit is receptive. I'm receiving, Lord, what you have for me. Amen. You can put a block. You can put a block and you can stop it if you want to. It ain't going to help you. But if it's from God, you know, I'm receiving what God has for me. If you ain't receiving it, you know, God wants to heal you. If you ain't receiving it, it's no good. You have to receive it. I believe I receive what God has for me. Amen. I believe I receive my healing. And I'm going to receive my healing because the Bible says, by Jesus Christ, I am healed. Yes. So I'm standing on the word of God. Yes. Amen. Not what the report I get from whoever. Uh -huh. Say, wait a minute. That's not what the word of God says about me. I'm not believing it. That's right. I'm standing on the word yes. of God. Amen. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> Praise God. Really? I just want you to know this is my Bible. Yes. This is the word of God. Amen. So. I mean, we're still, we're still on this. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. So, drawing close to Him. Drawing closer to Him. Yes. I guess you could say part two. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But uh, He wants to bless you. And He wants to change you. If you allow yourself yes. to be changed. You know, yes. just like your attitude. <laughs> uh -huh. Is it good or is it bad? Whose yeah. fault is it? Yeah. It's your choice. Yeah. Correct it. You know, if you have a flat tire, you can't go anywhere until you change that That's tire. It. Amen. So you got to change your attitude before you go anywhere, child of God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you call yourself a child of God. Mm -hmm. Change your attitude and, and, and be right. Amen. Yeah. How's God going to use you if you're all stuck up <laughs> and don't want to change? So he wants to change you and leave change. You know, every time you have an encounter with him, leave change Yeah. for the right thing. <laughs> Not for the wrong thing, you know. Say, oh, no, not him again. He's knocking. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's move on. 
Hallelujah. Yes, this is my Bible. Praise God. Thank you. So drawing closer to him, we might review some things. And we have some scripture. We have talked about this, giving, th giving thanks for your blessings. This is daily, not just on Thanksgiving Day, uh -huh. but daily giving thanks for your blessings. Amen. And don't, I mean, it says count your blessings, not your problems. A lot of us count our, forget, got it backwards. We count our problems before we count our blessings. Yeah. And we got so many problems. We can't even get to our blessings. Huh. Hey, we don't even see the blessings. Yeah, amen. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> there you go. Count your blessings and give yeah. thanks to God on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. All the time. All the keep time. going. Yes, thank you, Lord. Keep going. <laughs> yes, keep going. <laughs> We're counting. Keep going. <laughs> okay, here we go. Count your blessings, not your anxieties, cares, worries, or problems. Amen. Yes, yes. So here we go. Our, our our text. Let's go to our text right quick. Amen. And it's James four eight. James four eight. Uh, if you get there before I do, just wait for me. <laughs> James, 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 are you there? Yes. Well, hold on. Come on, James. <laughs> I've got it broke down already. <laughs> First word is draw. Draw? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, see, okay, it says, my says, in New uh, King James says, draw near to God. Or King James says, says draw nigh to God. Uh -huh. Draw near draw near to God, and He will do what? Draw near He'll draw near to you. The thing about it is, as we just said a few minutes ago, He's never moved. No. He's always there for you. He says He never leaves you, nor forsakes you. Amen. So, but if you draw close to him, he's going to draw close to you. Yeah. He's always knocking to come see you. Yeah. <laughs> he's always there for you. Yeah. But we're not letting him in. No. We need to let him in. Yeah. We need to say, receive him. Mm -hmm. As many as receive him, he gave power. Yeah. Amen. As many as received him, you have to receive. You got to open up and receive him. You know, just like when you accept him as your Lord and Savior. You yeah. have to receive Him. Let Him in and receive Him as your Lord and Savior. And you have to confess it with your mouth. Yeah. Not with somebody else's. Mom said it for me. Dad yeah. said it for me. So and so no. said it for me. No, you have to confess it with your mouth. Your mouth. Because when you stand before Him, it's going to be you mm -hmm. and nobody else. Yeah. There ain't going to be no crowd of friends or families there. It's going to be you and Him. Mm -hmm. And you have to give an account for yourself. Yes, and guess what? He already knows all about you. Yeah. <laughs> so we can't lie. <laughs> yeah. Amen. And I told you this last week and the week before. He knows all your weaknesses. He knows all your shortcomings. He knows all your bad things. And guess what? He loves you more than anyone. Yes. Okay. So I don't care what you heard or who said what. God loves you. And he wants to use you. Amen. And he has great plans for you. So it's time to get lined up with him and follow him and be used of him. Amen. God wants to use you. Here's the thing. Are you available? Are you making yourself available? Are you drawing closer to him and being available for him to use you? You have to do these things. It's not about what you know. It's about who you know. Amen. He don't look at you. He doesn't see your abilities. He sees your availability. Are you available? I need to. I want to use you. Amen. Serving him. Ooh, come on now. Commit to serve. <laughs> Praise God. Draw near to God and he'll draw near to you. Draw near to God and he'll draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinner, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Amen. So we're going to look at a few scriptures. Carmen, is this the right date for the for those slides? No, I don't think so. No. Okay. We don't we won't use those. Those are about counting your blessings, but that's okay. Uh, let's open our Bibles to one uh, Psalms one forty five eighteen. We have a few scriptures for you. So guess what we use here? We use the Word of God. <laughs> we use the Bible. The B I B L E. That's the book for me. 
Amen. I like to see children in, in, in the sanctuary, you know, because we was children at one time. We're still God's children. Yeah. And you know what? We used to teach children for about 20, 30 years. We start again. Amen. And <laughs> the B-I-B-L-E, that's the book for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I want the book for me. And that's the word of God. Yeah. Or basic instruction before leaving earth. Amen. Yes. But open your Bibles to Psalms. The book of Psalms. And there's many scriptures, okay? This is just a few scriptures. You go study it for yourself. But drawing close to God. Psalms 145 and verse 18. Uh, oh. I'm almost here. Verse 18 says what? The Lord is, the Lord is nigh unto all, unto all them, them that call upon, upon him. him. Are you calling upon him? God never hears me. <laughs> we yeah. tend to say these things. Huh. But verse 18 says the Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon, upon him and to all that call upon him, him in truth. Amen. Amen. So he's close. We're talking about another word for nigh is near. Yeah. Lord is near. Yes, he is. Amen. And that's what we've Thank been talk we want to talk about is drawing near to him because he is near to us. Are we near to him? Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh he's not the problem. We're the problem. We're trying to fix the problem. Oh, the and the problem is not him. The problem is us. We got to get close to him. Yes. Amen. So praise God. And that's what we're talking about. When things are going bad. Amen. We got to draw close to him. Yes. When things are good. He said he's got on a mountain and he's uh -huh. got it in the valley. In the valley. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you are, but he's, he's going to be there with you. Yes. We just got to draw nigh to him. Amen. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> Woo. Run to him with open arms. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Running on the open arms of our loving Savior mm -hmm. that will help us, help those who are hurting, yes. help those who are in need, yes. help those that are seeking him. Yes. Amen. Yes. Are you seeking him? Are you wanting to get close to him? When you're seeking him, you want him to get close. Mm -hmm. Amen. We want to get close or draw close to him, closer to him. Amen. Amen. Now, one of our other texts was uh, Matthew. Go to Matthew chapter 11. We're talking about drawing closer or close to him. or clo Yeah, closer to him. Matthew chapter 11. Amen. I'm glad you joined us. I'm glad you're with us. And uh, we're going to learn together. From Amen. what? The Word of God. Amen. Yes. <laughs> we need to study the show of self to prove all the time. Amen. Remember? Uh, verses 28 and 29. Are you there? Yeah. All right. Let me see. 28 and 29. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are what? Heavy, laden, and I will give you rest. <laughs> you need rest? <laughs> you go to him. Yes. Lord, I need you. I need you. You know what? Jesus went to him. And we're going to find out in a few minutes. Jesus went to him. All, everybody, you know, all the Bible heroes we talk about uh -huh. called on, on Jesus, yes, called on do. God, you know. Yeah. And we, we can do the same thing, yeah. amen. Jesus can do it, we can do it, yes. amen. Yes. He says, this is our greatest example. Uh -huh. Amen. So praise God. And I will give you rest. And then verse 29 says, take my yoke upon you and uh -huh. learn from me and learn of me, of me. For I am meek and lowly in yes. heart and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Yeah. For my yoke is easy and yes. my burden is light. light. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord. Praise God. Yes. I am excited. I don't know about you. Oh, uh, just a few reminders. They drew close to God. Jesus yeah. went to the Father on a daily on a daily basis when uh -huh. he needed strength. So what about us? Uh -huh. We need his strength. Yes, and we can draw close to him. I want to pound it I want to hack mod. I want to pound it until you get it. And we're going to say it. Drawing close to him. Drawing closer to him. The prodigal son. <laughs> I need the father. Draw close to him. He walked away. You know. But he came home. Amen. We're talking, we talked about Moses at the Red Sea. 
and say, Lord, I need you now more than anything. <laughs> the Red Sea in front of him, the Egyptian army right behind him, and says, Lord, I need you now. The Lord came through. Amen. Hallelujah. Joshua at the Jericho walls, the Lord gave him a plan on what to do and drew close to God, and God showed him, and those walls come tumbling down. Whatever walls are holding you back, whatever's blocking you, distracting you, those things can come down in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You just draw close to Him. We talked about uh, Jonah in the belly of the big fish. We talked about the three Hebrew children and uh, the apostles and Jesus called. Call, uh, excuse me. The, Jesus calmed the storm when the apostles come crying to Him. Say, Lord, we need to. They come to Him. And He spoke to the storm and the storm called. Amen. So whatever storms is, whatever storms of life are troubling you, amen, draw close to him. Say, Lord, I need your strength. I need your help. You know, and he's going to see, he's going to see you through. He's going to see you through. Amen. Praise God. God is great. And he's to be sought. And he is good. And he is to be found. Amen. So when we draw close to God, he'll draw close to us. Woo! Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's go to another scripture. It's called Proverbs. Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 3. Okay. Amen. We got quite a few scriptures, huh? Okay. It's okay. It's all right. Proverbs chapter 3, verses uh, 30 and 32. Mm -hmm. Okay. King James. And I'm going to read it to you from another translation here. So, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 30 and 32. Strive not with men without cause, if ye have done thee no harm. Verse 31, Envy thou, that thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. And verse 32 says, For the forward and the abomination uh, to the Lord, uh, his <coughs> secret is with the righteous. Amen. Let me read it to you from this translation. And it goes like this. Do not fight with a man for no reason when uh -huh. he has done you no, no wrong. Uh -huh. Verse 31, do not be jealous of a man who hurts others and do not choose any of his ways. And verse 32 says, for the Lord, for the, for the bad man is hated by the Lord, uh -huh. but he is close or, or he is close or near to those that are right with him. Uh -huh. He is close to those that are near and close to him. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So praise God, you know, we are to draw close to him. Yeah. Many Christians will tell you they're trying to get close, but guess what? Uh -uh. They're not. They're not trying to get close to God. They don't want to come to hear the, what the word of God says. Amen. They don't want to walk the walk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't want to talk the talk. <laughs> they don't want to change, period. That's okay? It. That's, it. That's, it. <laughs> That's it. They don't want to change. Quit using excuses. Remember we talked about put some faith to those feet and start yes. walking in what God has called you to do. Amen. Uh -huh. And you can use the same faith to draw closer to Him. Yes. God loves you. And uh -huh. He loves to uh, draw you closer to Him. Yes. He wants to draw you close. Just like a, 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 a parent. Just like a, yeah. a, a, a father. Just like a mother does. He wants to draw, draw you close to Him. We pull away. We push away. And we need to strive to get closer to Him. Mm -hmm. Draw closer to Him daily. Not just once in a while. Not when things are going right. Not just when you feel good. But mm -hmm. all the time. Amen. You know when it's perfect time to get close to Him? Now. Yeah. <laughs> now. <laughs> now is the right time. Amen. Mm -hmm. So desire and draw closer to Him on a daily basis. Amen. So praise God. Draw close to Him. Spend time with Him. Spend time in prayer. Relationship. It's called relationship. Drawing closer to Him. Uh, praise Him. Worship Him. Yeah. Amen. Ooh, this is good. You know, <laughs> some of us don't want to do that. And especially with people around people. Mm -hmm. But you know, when you're by yourself in the car, when you're by yourself uh, in the shower, when you're by yourself at home... <laughs> You know, hey, let it out, let it go, man. You know, scream. You know, I've seen some of you at the football games. I've seen some of you out, and I've seen you shout at somebody else, and you wasn't shouting anything good. 
Amen. So, you know, when you're with God, just let it out. Voice it. Mm -hmm. Let it out. Let it come out. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Spend time with Him. Study. Mm -hmm. Meditate. Yeah. Renew your mind. Renew your thoughts. You know, well, I couldn't help myself. Yeah, you could. Yeah. Amen. You could have helped it because you could have avoided it and you could have deleted it, but you let uh -huh. it process. Mm -hmm. And never renewed your mind with mm -hmm. the word of God. With the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. You just let it boil until it just blew up and it came out. Mm -hmm. You know, you gave voice to it. And yeah. that's what the enemy wants. The enemy wins. But guess what? You're hurting yourself because you're speaking the wrong things in your life. Amen. Yes. You got to speak the right words in your life. Cast all those troubles, all those cares on him. Uh -huh. He wants to help you. Yes. If you only give it to him, yes. cast it on him, and draw close to him. You know, when you yes. give it to him, you draw closer to him. Yes, yes. Lord, I'm trusting you. Mm -hmm. I'm coming close to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. This is good. Yes, Amen. it is. It's, it's that easy. It's that easy. We just, got, we just have to do it. Yes. Amen. We just have to do it. Amen. Praise God. Be encouraged. Be stirred up. The Bible yes. says that nobody's going to do this for you except That's yourself. It. You got to stir yeah. yourself up. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Just like that good stew mom makes, you know, or, or you make, whatever. You know, you can put all kinds of things in there, you know, but you know what? It ain't good enough until you stir it up. <laughs> you got to stir it up good, you know, and you got to stir yourself up in Him. Yes. You know, the power's in there. Yeah. The Word is in there. Jesus yeah. is in there. All these good things yes. God has placed in you yes. is in there. <laughs> the, the fruit of the Spirit is in there. But we got to stir it all up. Yes. yes. So that you can, you know, come out. Make a mess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah make it, make it, make a mess. <laughs> but we have to stir it up. Uh -huh. Don't let nobody... Uh, how do I want to say this? Don't let nobody ruin your day. Oh, the Bible says it. this is the day the Lord has made. Yes. Rejoice. Amen. Be glad Amen. in it. Amen. Amen. Walk Amen. in your peace. Walk yes. in His peace. Yes. His peace. Amen. That's one of the fruit of the Spirit, you know. Mm -hmm. Don't let somebody bring this into you or mm -hmm. take you out of your peace. That's it. You bring them into your peace. Yes. Amen. That's Whatever it. mess they're in, yeah. you know, yeah. they're going to yeah. see the presence of God. They're going to see mm -hmm. the peace of God. Yes. And you give them what you have yes. instead of them, you taking what they have. Oh, that's right. Amen. That's right. But that's on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. You see these things everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, you know what we do? We just see and say nothing. Mm -hmm. Amen. If God tells you to share something, say it. You know, yeah. always leave somebody on an uplift yeah. and not on a down. Better We're than so you found them. better than you found them. Yeah. Yes, you know, yeah. sometimes it's so easy to just keep people down and push people down and say negative things and say, say, instead of saying positive mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. You know, remember, we haven't even got to that scripture yet, but <laughs> Jesus, our greatest example, yes. our, we're to imitate him yes. and not the world. That's Amen. Right. We're to be God pleasers and not man pleasers. Amen. Or people pleasers. Uh, That's it. Here we go, right into it. Um, be encouraged. He loves you. He wants to mm -hmm. keep you up and up. Amen. Amen. His love for us is everlasting. Yes, it is. Amen. Thank Don't let it disappear. Yes. He listen, he won't let it disappear. You know why? Because it won't disappear just because we failed him. That's right. He's going to feel the same way about you. Amen. Yes. He sacrificed his son. Jesus gave his life. Yes. And he's not going to change regardless of whether we sin or not. The best thing to do is confess your sin, repent, and come to him. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Let's go to Ephesians 5. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. Yes. And I'm going to read it to you from a couple of translations here. Ephesians. Oh, yes. Ephesians, Ephesians, Ephesians. You have your Bibles? If not, grab one. And uh, mark it. Praise God. Ephesians 5, 1 and 2. Yes. 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 Ephesians
Amplified. All right. Because King James says, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also hath loved us and hath given himself for us uh, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smell and savor. Yes. But the, the uh, Amplified goes like this. It says, Therefore be what? Imitators Imitate. of God. Uh -huh. Okay? It says, Copy Him and follow His example. As well beloved children, imitate their Father. And verse 2 says, Walk in love, esteeming and delighting in one another, uh -huh. as Christ loved us and gave Himself up for us. A, a, a slain offering and a sacrifice to God yes. for you so that it became a sweet fragrance. Amen. Amen. So praise God. So I haven't, but I've heard people say this. <laughs> well, that's just the way I am. Mm. And you know, mm -mm. but you still, you know, that's yes. the way, maybe that's the way you are, but you're following the world. You need to renew your mind. You need to confess Him as Lord and Savior and start following His example and start imitating Him and not the world. Amen. And then you can control what you say and what you do. Watch your words and your actions. Amen. You can do these things. Well, how do I know? You know, the Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. I couldn't help myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, if you feed your spirit, we try being spirit, soul, and body. Mm -hmm. If you feed your spirit, your man, your spirit man, the yeah. Word of God, and yeah. if you renew your mind with the Word of God, yeah. and you crucify your flesh, yes. you're going to watch your words, and you're going to watch yeah. your actions, and you're only going to say those things mm -hmm. that is going to bless you and be positive mm -hmm. and not negative. That's right. And you're going to walk the walk, and you're going to talk the talk. Yeah. And you're going to be that child of God He wants you to be. And yeah. you're going to fulfill what He's calling you to do. Yes. Amen. Good. And you can do all things through all Christ who oh, strengthens yes. you. Amen. Yes. When you do these things, you're going to fulfill what he's called you to do. This great plan that he has for you. Yes. So it's time for you to <laughs> take the baton and run with it. Yeah. You've got a race to run. Get all that care, all that weight off of you and just yes. start running for God. Amen. Amen. Start running and fulfilling what God has called you to do. He's called you to do great things. Yes, you didn't yes. know this. Now you know. Now you've been told. Now yeah. it's time to get busy for you. <laughs> no excuse. <laughs> no excuse. Oh, God. The uh, the uh, this other translation says, "Imitate God, therefore, in everything you do, because you are His dear children. Yeah. Live a life filled with love, following the examples of Christ." He loved us and offered himself as a sacrifice for us, a pleasing aroma to God. So, uh -huh. it's okay to have a role model. Yeah. <laughs> Let it be Jesus. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> you know, there's yeah. a, I, I've heard athletes, because I love athletes. I mean, I love sports. Um, yeah. I've heard athletes say, uh, I'm not a good example for you to follow. Uh -huh. Because their life's not right, but kids are following them uh -huh. because they're great players yeah. in whatever they do. Mm -hmm. But I've heard them, some of them say, don't follow me because I'm not a great example. Yeah. I've heard other Christian athletes that say, you know, hey, you know, they let you know right away they serve a living God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And they're serving Him. And for you to follow Him. Amen. Amen. So praise God. But Lord. we have a, a role models. Just don't let that role model be a worldly person that is, is going to roll you over. He's going to roll you over. Don't let the role models roll you. <laughs> don't let role models dictate. Uh -huh. Who you're going to serve. That's it. That's Amen. It. You don't serve people. You don't serve men. You That's serve it. God. Yes. Amen. Let Jesus be your role model. Yes. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Jesus prayed. Jesus. So can we. Jesus taught uh -huh. his uh, uh, followers to pray. Amen. So 
Let us do the same thing. Paul yeah. spoke of his continual prayers. Uh -huh. So can we. Yeah. Paul has some awesome partners yes. that we can learn in the book of Ephesians, Colossians, yes. you know, that we can read from, that we can uh, learn yeah. from. So praise yeah. God. Amen. <laughs> the apostles gave themselves to prayer. Yes, we need did. to do the same thing. You know, prayer yeah. is just relationship. When you have relationship, you draw close. If we have relationship, we're going to draw close to each other. Amen. And that's what we want to do on a daily basis. Amen. Drawing closer to Him and walking with Him. Yes. Amen. Yes. And listening to what He has. Amen. Whew, there's Amen. great needs in the church. Yes. The body of Christ. We are the church. We are the body of Christ. We come to this place and assemble ourselves here to hear the Word of God. Yeah, get filled but, up. But <laughs> you have to get filled up. Keep yourself filled, mm -hmm. not empty, okay? It's just like your coffee cup. <laughs> you can walk around with a cup all you want to, but if it's got no coffee, it's no good. <laughs> As a child of God, keep yourself filled with the Word of God because with, without the Word, yeah. you are nothing. That's it. You know, you are no match to the enemy. Mm -hmm. The enemy, a full, what, you know, part-time, empty questions is no match to a full-time devil. Yeah, that's it. Amen. There's one thing he is. He's, he's dedicated. Yes. And yeah. he is full time. Uh -huh. We need to be full yes. time. Amen. Filled to overflowing. Yes. Amen. All the time. So praise God. If you bring me a cup of coffee, don't bring an empty cup. I <laughs> need a coffee cup unless it's got coffee in it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But we are the church. Yes. We need to wake up. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't go to church. I am the church. Yeah. I am the body yeah. of Christ. You are the body of Christ. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You are the church. Yeah. Amen. He's the head. We're the body. We're the body. Amen. So let's remember this. Yeah. Matthew 24, uh, 12 and 14 says this. Because of people breaking the laws and sin being everywhere, the love in the heart of many people will become cold. Mm -hmm. And you feel this now. But the ones who stay tuned to the end will yes. be saved. Thank this good Lord. news about the holy nation of God must be preached all over the earth. It must be told to all nations uh -huh. and then the end will come. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do, child of God. That's what we do, children of God. Mm -hmm. Bringing the word of God to a yes. lost world. Yes. The gospel, the good news of God. Amen. Amen. You have lots in you. Don't say I don't have anything. Don't say I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. You're good enough. Yes. Amen. You're good enough. Yes. Thank Jesus you. could have backed out and say, Father, I'm not good enough to go to this cross. Mm -hmm. But he did. Yes. Amen. And you're good enough to carry this cross. Yes. Amen. And take this cross with you. Uh -huh. Praise God. Come Thank on. Lord. Come on now. Um, Amen. You know, one thing you can change this year is start seeing better things about yourself. Yes. Start seeing yourself the way he sees you, uh -huh. not the way you see yourself, That's or right. not the way so-and-so says about you. That's Amen? Because people only see physically. Yes. Amen? God sees in the spirit. Yes. Thank you, Amen? Lord. And when you had a spiritual birth, <laughs> you was born again. Mm -hmm. You're a child of God. So don't go around calling yourself a sinner. You're a child of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm saved. I'm going to heaven. And I had a spiritual birth. And people will look at you and say, you look the same. Mm -hmm. Of course they do. Because all they can see is this flesh. Yes. All they can see is this body. Mm -hmm. But inside, I am renewed. <laughs> Amen. The Bible says in Corinthians that I'm a new creature in Christ. Yes. The old is all gone. The new is in. Yes. It's on the inside. And you know what? From the inside to the outside, yeah. the inside, my new inside is going to change my outside. Oh, yeah. Because I'm not going to hang out with the same crowd. I'm not going to hang out and do the same things. I'm not going to say the same things. Okay, It's going to change. People are going to walk up to you and say, you look the same, but you don't sound the same. <laughs> you look the same, but you don't hang out anymore. If you're really a friend, you'll hang out with us. If you're really a friend, you would do this. No, I'm not going to do that. Amen. We're not going to compromise. And we're not going to 
the yes. enemy will use anyone mm -hmm. to distract you. Oh, yeah. So you have to be careful. Amen. Whoo, hallelujah. Praise I'm blessed. You. I don't know about you. Yes. <laughs> Father desires a closer relationship with his children. He wants us to come home. Mm -hmm. Amen. He wants us to come home. Yes. And he wants us to draw near to him and draw close to him uh -huh. daily. Amen. Mm -hmm. Not just when we need him. You know, a lot of us, that's all we do is, you know, just go dump what we need on mm -hmm. him and yeah. take off. Yeah. Amen. Or wait till we have a crash and then we run to oh. him. Mm. You know, just like a heavenly, just like a father, mm -hmm. he's going to be there for you. But still, yes. we just can't keep running from him. That's right. He wants relationship. Amen. amen. He wants relationship. He wants to spend time with you. And you are worthy of this. Amen. Yes. So see yourself the way he sees you. You're a winner. Yes. You're a champion. You're an overcomer. Yes. There's so many things that you are that you don't see yourself. Amen. Because we're trying to please the world. And we're never going to please the world. They'll never right. be satisfied with what they see. God is already satisfied. And he says, you're good enough. Why? Because I created you. <laughs> I made you. And you know what? He's already qualified uh -huh. you. So quit trying to get the world's approval when God That's has already it. approved That's you. It. You know, he's already proved your plans. He's already qualified mm -hmm. and, and given you plans that had already blessed. Yes. So quit trying to say, well, you know, I want you to bless my plans. Mm -hmm. He says, no. He says, why don't you try my plans? They're already blessed. Yes. And it's going to make things a whole lot easier. Oh, yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So, draw near to God and all these good things will happen. Mm -hmm. He's going to bless you. Yes, and that's what God is all about. He's there for, for you. Yes. And he's going, he wants to bless you. Amen. Amen. So, Thank you, Lord. Whoo, we're going to... Thank you, Lord. Stop right there. Well, let me go one, one more one more scripture. Okay. And in Psalm 73. Go back to Psalm, book of Psalm 73. Okay. And verses 27 and 28. All these scriptures, and it's more. This is not this is not all of them, okay? There's a lot of scriptures. Mm -hmm. You can just go to uh internet and find out you know drawing close to God's scriptures and they'll give you all the scriptures you want to know this is from the NIV but it says Psalm 73 27 28 are you there? yes okay here we go for lo they that are far from thee shall perish thou hast destroyed all them that go a worry from thee and a says a worry and 28 says but it was good for me to draw near to God I have put my trust in Lord God that I may declare all my works uh -huh. amen so all these scriptures about drawing closer to him you know uh, when we have relationship with him I was talking about uh Renewing, uh -huh. about uh, stirring. Yes. You know, we have revival with them. Revival is just renewing, yes. reviving yourself, you yes. know, to doing what God has called us to do. Mm -hmm. Some of us need reviving, uh, revivals every day. Yes. It's just not once in a while, you know, everybody thinks about revival. Oh, a big evangelist coming in town. Uh -uh, uh -uh. No, revival is reviving yourself, you know, yes. to what God has called you to do. Yeah. Spending time with Him, reviving myself, get, keeping myself alive, you know, excited about what God has done. You know, uh, I read something uh, um, in Facebook that said, um, uh, you know, virus is coming. Yeah. Head, head, headlines, you know, say warning, warning, virus is coming. <laughs> and everybody prepares. Uh, uh, whatever you know, flu's coming. You know, uh, prepare yourself. And guess what? Everybody prepares themselves. Mm -hmm. The Bible's been telling us Jesus is coming, and nobody uh -huh. cares. Nobody's prepared. Uh -huh. We we need to be prepared. Yes. He said he's coming, 
And you know we're supposed to be busy doing His work, Amen. sharing the good news. Amen. Good news. Praise Amen. God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Act of reviving. Never, never, never. It's not going to happen to you if you're worshiping from a distance. Mm -hmm. You're not making an attempt. You're not making an effort. Unwilling to suffer for Him. Unwilling to make the real commitment to Him mm -hmm. by staying back. If you draw back, guess what? It ain't going to happen. All you're going to do is you're going to draw coal and you're going to draw a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. So you have to be careful. The best thing for us to do in closing is to draw close to yes. him on a daily basis. It's going to be better for you. Amen. People are, you're going to see it. You're going to feel it. And people are going to see it also. Amen. Amen. So, but you have to speak it. You got to pray it. You got to pray it. Speak it. Mm -hmm. And say it. You know. Yes. But do it. Amen. Yes. Do it. Ooh. Hallelujah. I like that. Hallelujah. So with that, we close. Amen. 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 And James 4, 7, once again, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Yes. Amen. Let us draw near to Christ that we may experience his love and his power. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Lord, I just thank you for this opportunity to share your word, Lord. Bless your people, those that are listening, those that are watching, Father. Bless them, whatever the need is, Father God. We just thank you that we can take your word and just grow from it. Yes. And learn from it, Lord. Amen. Praise you, praise you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you for your precious word. Amen. Thank you, Lord. If any of you, you know, before we close, have never asked him to come in, into your heart. Or you never received him as your Lord and Savior. This is a time. This is an opportunity for you. All you have to do is open your mouth. And says, Lord, I failed you. I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. You know, just say it. Say those words and he'll come. He'll hear you. He says he's with you. He wants to be with you. We need to open the door. Yes. And he's going to come in. Confess that and start making changes in your life. Amen. Amen. And start learning. Yes. And start going for him. Praise God. Yes. If you need a touch of healing, just ask the Lord. Thank you, Father. By Jesus Christ, yes. I am healed. Whatever area of your body needs to touch, on the outside or the inside. Yes. Amen. Just touch that part and say, Father, thank you. And by Jesus Christ, my heart is healed. Yes. My lungs are healed. Yes. And my hearing is healed. Yes. Amen. Thank you. My eyes are healed. Yes. And I receive it. Body be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. So it's time to give. Yes, it is. <laughs> Those of you watching or listening, if you still want to give your tithes and your offerings, all you have to do is just go and hit that donate button. Amen. Yes. Our website is nbcbigben.com. Yes. Amen. Yes. And those that are either mailing, NBC uh -huh. PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. And we just want to say we love you. Yes. And we thank God for you. Amen. Praise God. Stretch your hands, let's pray. Father, we just thank you for the opportunity.